Okay, so let's talk about junctions in an electric circuit. A junction is simply a point where two or more, actually three or more, um, conductors meet at a given point. So at this junction, I've got one wire representing a current coming in, and then a wire going up and a wire going down. So there's two currents going out in this situation. And so in order for charge to be conserved, that means that whatever is going in to the junction must equal whatever's coming out of the junction. So here that blue IN must be equal to the sum of I1 plus I2. And so that's often referred to as Kirchhoff's junction rule. And it's simply a statement of conservation of charge. Because we can't be destroying charges. Like they don't just disappear after they go into the junction. So let's go in the lab and see if that is experimentally true. Okay, so here we have a circuit which has a junction in it. And the junction is right here. Um, this is again connected to our battery emulator. And so that yellow wire is still connected to the positive end and the blue wire connected to the negative end. And after the current leaves the yellow wire, it's going to go through this wire and then it's going to reach this point right here. And this point is a junction because there's one wire leaving the junction this direction, which is going to go through this light bulb. And there's a second wire going this direction, which is eventually going to go through this light bulb. There's a second junction right here where those two turn two currents are recombined after going through the light bulb. So theoretically, the current entering the junction, like going through this wire, should be equal to the current leaving the junction, which is the current going through these wires. And so current one should equal the current through two plus the current through three. In order for charge to be conserved, what goes into the junction from this direction must equal what is leaving the junction from that direction, something like that. So let's clip some ammeters in here and see if that is true. So I've got this thing set up with three ammeters in my circuit. And my circuit is a veritable mess of wires due to all these meters. And so let me again walk you through it. I had to move a few things to make it fit. And so current is going to come in from the battery from this yellow wire right here, which is connected to my battery. And it's going to go into this yellow wire here, which is going to go through this ammeter, and then to this yellow wire right here. So everything up to this point is yellow. That's my input. Um, over here, I still have this wire that's leading to this point right here, which is my junction. And from my junction, um, I've got this green alligator clip, which is connected to this ammeter. So current's going to go through this ammeter, through this white wire, and then through this light bulb, and then back to this junction. On the other side of the junction, my current's going to go through this wire, down to the red wire, which goes to this ammeter, out the black wire, through the light bulb, and then through this wire, back to the junction right here. So the claim is that these two currents together should add up to this current right here because this is measuring the current before the junction. These two are measuring the current after the junction. So let's turn on our battery and see what we get. Okay, so this current, the input, is measuring 0.6 amperes. This one is measuring 0.35, and this one is measuring 0.24. So if you add 0.24 to 0.35, you'll get right at 0 0.60, now it's dropped down to 0.59. So in this example, the current going in is equal to the sum of the currents going out. Um, if I were to change something about the circuit, like for instance, if I were to add a resistor over here, so let's take this wire off. Notice that the junction rule here is still true. What goes in still equals what comes out. Now that this one's zero, so if I add this resistor down here, I get different currents. 0.52 would still be equal to the sum of these two right there. So 0.18 plus about 0.34, uh, just a little bit off of not exactly 0.52. And so we've shown here that what goes in has to equal what comes out.